Hi, this is Norman Ibarra from Fresno, California. You are watching the Omar Goss Show. What is up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Hey, I'm just gonna get right into the title of this video today. Yes, I did wreck my RV. I mean, it's not as bad as you think, but I was trying to do a, a park job right here. We're getting ready to eat some lunch. James and I, see there's James right over there. Yes, there were witnesses to this small minor accident and they were laughing at me because I was backing in, I felt a bump and I thought I hit the curb or something, but this is what happens when you're hungry. I hit a tree. See that? Totally wrecked my RV. <laughs> By the way, this is my RV. It's like a mini compact RV. I think I kind of bent the tree a little bit, or was it like that already? I think it was like that. It looks like you bent it though. <laughs> and that was done using a backup camera. That's right. You can still wreck using backup cameras. Objects may appear closer than they really are. This is my RV. I've been showing it a lot in a lot of my videos. It is the SS Raven. They're gonna show you pulling away. Oh, you're gonna get a shot of me pulling away? Yeah. See you if the tree. Do your camera I'll do your camera. Yeah, here. see I'll if the you. tree actually moves when I. Yeah, I'll put it I'll do it for you. Okay. All right, fam. Here is the big old accident here. Let's see if the tree moves. Oh, he's taking the tree with him. Oh, I think the tree's gonna live, fam. I think the tree's gonna live. Oh, wait, let's see if he made a mark. A little bit, not too bad. What about here? Oh, bro, you dented the heck out of that. Oh, did I? No, let's go. <laughs> the cops are coming. Luckily, it wasn't that bad of a wreck. <laughs> that bad. <laughs> Hey, I, I, I thought it was kind of bad. Yeah, there are a few that ambulance is coming right now. Coming to rescue James of his that whiplash. His whiplash from sneezing earlier. Yo, this guy oh, sneezed earlier and and his butt crack showed right after. <laughs> he was like, hachoo, and he moved. <laughs> Actually, here, let me demonstrate and show you what happened. Uh, yeah, no, go ahead. I'm just kidding. Yeah, he was like, hey, too, and I was behind him, and he moved me and everything. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was good. Hey, we just had some Mexican food right now. Uh -oh. uh, we've been here before. I'm not going to name the name, but you know when you go somewhere really, really good, and you come back a second time, and it kind of sucks? That's kind of what happened to us today. And I thought it was just me at first, but you kind of didn't like it either. Mm -mm. Good thing we have a toilet back there. Yeah, we got tarlet. 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 Yeah. So if we have to, you know, go Humpty Dumpty, we have like tons of yachts out here. What's the name of this town again? Lighthouse Point. Lighthouse Point. Real close to Miami. Oh, look at that yacht right there. Dude, I bet you like Pablo Escobar's <laughs> son's uncle's father's cousin owns that one. And that one. And, wow, look at that one. That's like a pontoon yacht. They have like a lot of mansions on the water. Some of them have like their own security guards too out front. Look at that. It's like their own little gated communities. Whoa. There was one up here that it looked like a security guard was parked right in the driveway. Somebody important has to live up, up here. We're trying to find this lighthouse. Well, we did find it, but we, we're trying to find a way in to see it and I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of it. It's supposed to be like a, a haunted lighthouse down here. Okay, we're coming up on that, that house right now. Oh, dude, that is so nice. I think that's the house right there. I think that's Oprah Winfrey's house. No. Yeah, she has a house here. She has a house here too? Yeah, we can Look, probably park right here. There's the, oh, it looks like a cop car. Wow, it's like Heaven's Gates. Not by car, but by foot there's the lighthouse right there uh, we cannot we cannot get to it see okay it's on private property we just need to take a couple of pictures that's all it's not really a big, big deal this is so beautiful out here if you're in the northern states you want to get to some warmer weather this is where you need to be right here south florida
there's that lighthouse that we were trying to get to that's about as close as we can get you have to register like with the Coast Guard and they do tours like once a month we thought we we're gonna be able to just go there we didn't hear that it's haunted but it's all good at least we get to admire its beauty from here I see some people up there unless that's oh yeah that's yeah it's definitely people you damn clickbaiter thought we were going on that lighthouse we can let's go how we're we gonna go swim there no we're gonna go savage style we're gonna go around the security guard and through that way and you ready yeah let's do it i guess james and i are gonna try to sneak on to this lighthouse area you're serious about this huh that water down there is really clear i love the smell of like the ocean so awesome Hey, I think we could probably walk over the bridge. We can give it a whirl, bro. Let's let's give it a whirl. I see a guy walking over there. Yeah, let's just act like we belong. Yeah, we're gonna act like we belong. There's a security guard watching us. They pulled up right behind us there. Got their lights on. Could be wrong. Dude, look what it says. It says no pedestrians allowed beyond this point. Oh, well, it says while bridge is opening and closing. Okay, we're okay. Loving all these beautiful homes on the water here. Wonder how much they cost. You can go on Zillow right now. Look up Pompano Beach. What do you think a house out here runs? A house? Yeah, like on the water. House in the millions. Millions? millions yeah. You could probably get a townhouse for probably like seven, eight hundred thousand. Woo! But like you like forget about it. like somewhere around here, over there, you're talking millions of this. There's an opening right there. If you go around that barbed wire, James is like seriously wanting to do this. I'm kind of done. I just wanted to take as close a shot as I could of the lighthouse. Our only other option is to walk past the security guard and maybe wave at him and act like we belong here. I seen a guy a little bit ago and he looked like this when he walked in. So I'm gonna see if that works. <laughs> Let's try this here. What do you think? Perfect. Oh. <laughs> hey guys. Yes. So, huh? Uh, this is a private club. I already told you before. Which way? Right. So which way? I thought you said we just couldn't park here. No. We got busted. You didn't have your shirt tucked in. Oh, that, yeah. Should have had your shirt bro. tucked in. See? That's probably. No, I thought it was you stopping to go. Look at the damn cat instead of just walking straight through. Nah, bro, that's how you gotta like blend in. Oh, I knew we were getting busted, bro. <laughs> Didn't you know that guy was coming? Like, I had a feeling. He was like, hey guys, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, it was still fun trying, though. Yeah. Hey, we we did get past the gate for a second. I got, yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah we did. I got further than you, man. I was almost right by the lighthouse. Yeah. Kind of wanted to show you that, anyways. I, I knew we weren't gonna be able to get on the lighthouse. Well, I didn't know until we got here. But that happens a lot. Sometimes we'll do research on a haunted location and we want to go check it out. We end up going to check it out and we can't go on. Funny story, and it was a place that a lot of fans wanted us to go to. School three in Jacksonville, Florida. I drove four hours to get there. I get there and then we get busted by security and they came so close to calling the cops. We didn't even go on the property, we were just like, kind of scoping it out and i don't know it's because a lot of vandalism people go there and vandalize the places that's with a lot of abandoned places i just want to go and document it document its history see if a place is haunted or not i wanted to go in the lighthouse james doesn't give up he's wanting to get like an inflatable raft and go over there what are you doing you are such a savage all right fans i want to check Yeah, I didn't see anything either. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. I'm just fascinated with all these currents. Like, you know, if you go for a swim down there, you're probably going to drown. Bro, if you fall in the water, I'm not going to rescue you. This is awesome. This is what I'm talking about over here. Oh, bro, cop. Cop, for real. I'm, I'm not even playing. Dude, stay under there for a little bit. There's a cop coming. Seriously? Yeah, on a bicycle. Whoa. That is like super fancy. Oh, they're just 
like building that house. That's a new home. Most of them have gates around them like this. All of these houses are on the water. We're going to try to explore. It's called the Capone's Hideout. A lot of presidents have eaten at this restaurant. And yes, it is supposed to be haunted. This is probably worth more money than my house. I mean, these things need their own gated community. Whoa. I'd be scared to drive one of those. Not really out in the open water, but I mean, imagine how difficult it was to park that. There's the boat we're gonna take to the Al Capone hideout. And there's James trying to vlog. James, Yo. everybody's seeing your butt crack right now, bro. Cool. Bro, I've never taken a boat to a restaurant. No, yeah, the restaurant's on an island. So it's just me and James and uh, another gentleman. There's a little kitty cat. Hi, baby. I think we have to ask permission. Give me kiss. There's houses on this island. Now, what we're looking at right behind me there was Al Capone's stash house. That's where he used to hide his money and his drugs and his alcohol during the prohibition times. Looks like it's gonna fall apart, but it's not. And they turned it into a very popular restaurant. It's called Cap's Restaurant. The Cap is not for Captain either. It's for Capone. I see a bunch of people eating in there and this restaurant was established in the 1920s. It's definitely old. Do you remember that lighthouse that we were trying to get to? That's it right over there and oh cool. I just thought I'd show you that. That's pretty awesome. I guess I look like a tourist. A couple of the locals were like, hey, where are you from? Like, uh, Florida? They are like, oh, you don't look like you're from Florida. <laughs> I was like, why? And they were like, oh, you know the socks with the sandals? Now, the reason why I did this today is because since I've been down here in South Florida, my ankles have been getting bit bad by mosquitoes. Actually, not just here in South Florida, but up from where I'm from in Tampa, too. Mosquitoes are bad. Only thing that I dislike about Florida this is the island that we're on right now pretty cool dude look at this old cash register it is like really rusty too hey see how the floors are like all on level in here <laughs> like super on level there's tons of stray cats on this island it's crazy come here kitty 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 the restaurant kind of looks like the bar i went in there for a second just to look at the menu but I mean there's people everywhere I don't want them to feel like I'm filming them but I have an idea there it is right there it's kind of a odd shape it's like almost reminds me of like a trailer or like a ship or something so yeah we're just filming everybody right now say hello oh look another kitty cat where are you going we are back inside of the SS Raven there is James over there. He is patiently waiting for me. Just a little bit ago, I was right here and getting a phone call. I did a live raise live stream and a lot of you were there. Thank you for that. I have some great news though. There was another app that I used to live stream on that I love so much and what I loved about it is it's kind of like you now. I used to do you now live streams a lot, but I can chat with like three or four people at once and it's kind of like a Google Hangout, but almost like my live streams here on YouTube, but I don't know, it's just so much fun. It's called Rise, it used to be called Popsy, 
I know a lot of you used to follow me on Popsy, but Popsy was just a whole beta app for Rise, and it's R-I-Z-E. You can go ahead, I'll try to leave a link here in the description. I want you to start following me there because I'm going to be doing some live streams there again. And what I love about it is I'll be randomly choosing people to chat with, like face-to-face, -face, almost like a FaceTime. If you, you know, if you didn't follow me on Popsy before, it's going to be kind of like that, like FaceTime, but a whole chat room and you know if you don't want to be guested because I'm gonna be just picking anybody and as soon as I pick them like you're right there and we're talking which is kind of cool so it's great surprise to some of you um, if you don't like being guested or whatever and you just want to go and watch my live stream you could do that too if I do guest you and you don't want to be guested you could just kind of exit out of it I think it gives you that option as well we're gonna be going on another adventure here I'm gonna go ahead and start letting you go because we have a long drive ahead I hope you're digging the daily videos I've been spending a lot of time editing while filming and there's really not a whole lot of time for things like sleeping and eating and exercise I've exercised in a few days you know I don't have my gym close by there's no excuses i guess i could go on a run or whatever but anyways i do appreciate you being a part of my day today or at least some of it make sure to check out james aka the fam gonna be a lot more videos from the ss raven i gotta go before you leave give me kiss peace i love you